Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to see if you can print a thread on a 3D printer. Now, what I did was I basically designed a little cube in SolidWorks. I put three holes in the top and then placed a thread in each of the holes. These are the bolts. That's an M6, that's an M8, that's an M10. They're all standard threads and standard thread pitches. Um, so are these. These were basically designed in SolidWorks with then the required hole for the actual tap to then cut it and then they were threaded in SolidWorks therefore opening up to the actual correct size. Um, I've, I have had to run a tap through the holes just to sort of clean some material off of the actual threads um, but all of them pretty much go in the hole. The M6 threads in there no problem at all and you can even go as far as tightening it down with a ratchet. And there's your M6 in there, that's fully tightened. I reckon that could actually be torqued up as well. If I had a torque wrench on me on a vice, that's obviously in the garage. Um, I reckon you could actually torque that up and that wouldn't that wouldn't damage the threads at all. Now you can see upon backing the bolt out, it's actually very, very easy to do. Now like I said, I have had to put a actual tap down this hole only because of like the overhangs and that, etc. And once the actual tap had started itself for the actual top layer of the actual 3D print, it pretty much flew down as, as, as gently as the bolt is. So like, there's the M8, that's in and out. The M10 is a little bit more tricky. Where I designed it, I think I made the wall a little bit too thin, so that when you do it up, it does do up, but it is incredibly difficult to do. Right, here we are in Cura, um, I'm going to open the file, um, it's called Free Threaded Holes, and here it is on our build plate itself. Now, if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see we have to rotate it 90 degrees and then I move it towards the front of the build plate. Now you can see the threads in the holes there. That's the M6, that's the M8 and that's the M10. The quality is on 0 0.1 which is fine. We could have gone extra fine but I thought fine was alright for the time. The shell is on 1mm, the top of the bottom thickness is on 1mm, the infill is on 25%, the material is at 200 degrees, the build plate temperature is 60 degrees, obviously 1.75mm filament, the flow is at 105% and retraction is enabled, the speed is 45mm per second, print corner is on, I turned the regular fan speed down to about 70 just because it was noisy. You don't want to generate support because all three of your holes will be full of support materials and you'll have to cut that out and it's just going to add time to it. Um, I've done a brim that's 10mm wide and the print sequence is all at once. But if we look at our layer view, you can see all the layers it's going to have it printed so we start with the brim and that will be the first layer as we go up that's layer 45 we can see the threads being printed until we get to layer 298 and that is the final layer that's going to take 1 hour and 56 minutes to print then you're going to save it to the, the removable drive place it in your printer and then click print. So there it is. Can you print a thread on the 3D printer? Um, I think so. Um, the bigger the thread, obviously, the more actual wall you need. But yes, I seem to think you can print a thread on the 3D printer quite easily. 
um, you have to obviously be careful of the shrinkage of the actual filament itself because I think it's like three percent or so it depends on the actual filament you use but if you use say like a metal infill filament itself a cut of thread in it shouldn't be a problem whether you can have an actual print thread or whether you actually have a hole ready to have a thread cut that's that might be even better but yes I reckon you could if you're prototyping parts and that you could very easily 3d print a thread thank you for watching if you like this video please like it if you didn't then dislike it um, please subscribe, it always helps the channel, and uh, I'll see you next week.